Hello, this is uh, Django, and this is my Vickers Vault Star Killer. Um, it uh, still is the same look uh, visually that it does when I first received it. This saber has gone through some upgrades though, since I uh, can't really leave anything idle. I also agreed to uh, test some firmware for uh, IRV, uh, Plector Labs. Uh, this is the new uh, 5.10 firmware. Um, it, one of the, the key features of this new firmware is that the um, pad 1 of the accent LEDs uh, can, has different functions enabled for it. So I'm going to go into that first. Um, this, the sound font you're going to hear is also by Nightstorm. It is episode 1 remaster. Er. My mission is complete, Master. That you are ready to stand with me against the Emperor. It's a Starkiller, um, the Force Unleashed remastered by Nightstorm. As you can see, uh, this is a, a program that'll just do that slow pulse and then it goes into the idle configuration where it will just uh, blink as per the uh, config files. Okay. Now that is set up to mirror the uh, Luxian when the saber is on. So it flashes the same as this, the main LED. And when you go into lockup, it mirrors the, uh, the speaker. Uh, all those features are adjustable and you can actually adjust them in each sound font. It's actually a, a pretty neat. Um, one of the other things I, I did to it, the uh, star killer here is, let me go ahead and just open it up and show you. Is I um, added a rumble motor right here. I was going to put it up in here, and I still might take it apart and do that. It's a, it makes the uh, the it a little bit sensitive, and you you can see the extra wiring that was put in place if you look back on it. But um, see, it does set off the swing sometimes. But it only really seems to do it when the uh, the grip's off. <laughs> Okay. Now, uh, the other thing that I did was I changed this from a flash on clash setup to I set this up as a uh, full power setup. Uh, it's not done the same way that Vader's Vault is doing it. It's some, something else I've been uh, uh, working on on my own, uh, or gave me some pointers on it. And I've done some other testing with some different hilts, but I uh, also did it with this uh, Star Killer because it it's a uh, well, it's an epic saber. It deserves a super bright blade. So I'm going to give you a little showing of that, too. Please be patient while I secure the uh, blade. Because for some reason during this demo I tried earlier, it fell out. Made a big mess. Okay, so the blade secured, that was the uh, blade retention screw. And as you can see the LEDs in the idle configuration. Okay. Okay. It's hard to appreciate how bright it is, but if you look, it's solid all the way to the tip. You can't hardly even see the Corbin film that's in the core of the blade unless you look at it really closely. And it's got a, a pretty good bit of base flare. See, it really, really lights up the room now. Um, you still have some of the defects, it just doesn't get dramatically brighter when you do the uh, lock-up or blaster effects.
Okay, well, that's about it for the demo. I'd like to thank uh, Irv for letting me be a part of the uh, little testing group there. And for uh, Vader's Vault for uh, getting uh, Irv to get a move on on these. Saber feels uh, a lot more uh, complete now, but you know, I'll probably still do some mods on it. Thanks for looking. Later.